Hello everyone, welcome back to Lisa's Loves Paper. And if you're new, welcome. Um, I am here with another kit catch up for you, but this one's gonna be a little bit different because I had already used a decent amount of this kit. So this is what's left, and I think it's a lot of embellishment. So I will still format it the same way. We'll go through what I have. Um, I'll go off and make some things, and then I'll come back and show you what I have left and what I made with it. I just want you to know that this one is probably gonna have less than normal. Um, because I've already used some of the kit when I first got it, I believe. Um, so anyway, this is the June 2021 hip kit. So let's walk through it. I got the main kit. I also got the embellishment kit, which we'll go through in a minute. So I have, whoop, this was their delightful um, thing. So yes, I've dug into these. Let's see what they have. So they have all sorts of cute little summery, springy, embellishments in there should be able to use those buttons <laughs> I really don't like buttons we'll see what I can do here um, I also don't love the colors of these and I don't know if it's the red and the yellow that are throwing me off but this might be a layout where I use a mass of them or something we'll see I try and use these up but they're just just not my, my not my thing <laughs> um, there's also these stickers. Let's see if I can show you. Cute little, they're puffy stickers. Cute little florals. Some gardeny things. Homegrown little lemon. Um, and then this one came with, they call it journaling bits. Uh, here we go, let's just look at the back of it. So it has all sorts of like pockets and stuff for you to use. I don't know why I struggled so much with this kit. It is cute and I like the colors, but something about it just doesn't jive with me. I think maybe it's the gingham. I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a gingham person. Um, love these letters. Can never have too many yellow letters. So I think I've used them for one title. They have little butterflies on them, cute. Okay, now the papers. So this is what I have left so far. I love this paper. And I remember using it on a layout. So I kept that because I like it. This, this is the other side, which is also beautiful. I've seen somebody use this recently. Um, I just love the colors with the black and white dots. It's pretty pretty. Um, so another little, I keep all these little scraps because I do use them occasionally. I have this. I'll have to see if I can dig out the layouts that I made with this so you can see those as well. Um, hopefully I'll do that. Remember to do that and show them to you at the end. So, love this paper too. I just love this design. Pretty little daisy on the back. Love this one. I remember using this one. It paired, what did it pair with? This one? I can't, maybe I paired it with this one. As you can see, I fussy cut. That's what I did. I fussy cut the flowers and put them over the, oh, it was beautiful. Beautiful. So, oh, this one has some, cut apart on the back. That's cool. This one's like a little hand-drawn check gingham thing. It's not gingham, but it's pretty. Um, and this beautiful pink floral. We have another floral. And a gingham. I'm going to pretend I don't see. <laughs> and another floral. Maybe it's all the florals. And then this pretty pink. I like that. And then we have this kind of purpley blue b-side looking and I really like that and we have stamps on this side yeah, I just don't see myself using this side because it's very gardeny um this is pink fresh from their happy blooms collection a lot of these are from pink fresh pink fresh is one of those I just love their stuff but I struggle to use it I don't know why um so I will almost definitely be using this so that's the paper We've looked at the embellishments. Now let's look at the embellishment add-on that I got. Real quick. I probably got it specifically for these floral die cuts. So it's mostly oops, florals with some butterflies. So pretty. So, so pretty. These are cute. They're little fabric bows that you assemble. They tell you that's the sample of how it looks when it's all together. I have not even opened these. They're cute, though. 
these vellum butterflies. I love butterflies and I love vellum, so this will be pretty. Okay. Honestly, maybe this is why I bought it, because <laughs> I love tiny word stickers. That's something they don't include in a lot of their kits. Um, I think they include them more in the Project Life ones, and I don't get the Project Life kits, but I love these. And I love the black and white. They're, they're clear stickers, though, so we'll see. Sometimes those can be tricky to use. And then we have the Pink Fresh Happy Blooms cardstock stickers. In the back. I have a lot of embellishments to use. Ooh, these pretty green letters. I also never have enough green, like a good solid green. Those are pretty. And then these giant, giant words. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I used some of them. I have a feeling I'm gonna be using a lot of white cardstock and using a, a ton of embellishments, but we'll see. I'll see you guys soon, hopefully with some layouts. I'll try and pull out the ones that I have already made with this just so you can see them, and I'll let you know which ones I made from just this too. So, see you soon, bye. Hi, I'm back. I went off, I did the things, and now I'm ready to show you what I have left and what I made with all this stuff. But first, a little word, word of warning. I have a little one sitting on the other side of the table from me right now. He has promised he will be quiet, but if you hear something, it's him. <laughs> With that said, we'll just truck on through and hopefully he won't interrupt us too much. So, um... Always with my disclaimers with this, remember my goal is not to use every single scrap. I just want to use it so I feel like I got my money's worth out of it and that I've used what I think I will use. I'm not going to force myself to use things that I don't enjoy. Um, and then I'll let you know what I have left. Oh, also, I don't always work 100% from the kit. I will often bring in stuff from my stash to fill holes. So you might see some things that are not from this kit. Um, and, oh, I will go through, I'll tell you if I'm going to keep things, destash them, and yada, yada, yada. So, without further ado, this is what I have left for the papers. I'm pretty happy with this. I do have one full sheet. We'll get to that in a minute, but I have some scraps. I love this paper. I will definitely keep it, both of them. I will use teeny tiny pieces like this. Um, I put those with my scraps. Love this paper as well. We'll do the same. Um, this side I like better. I will probably get rid of this. I can't see myself using it. I loved this paper, used it up. I don't know why I would keep this teeny, teeny, tiny piece. So that'll go off with that. Same as this. I don't think it's worth, maybe that side is worth using. We'll see. Um, I do like this paper. Mm, I'll probably keep this one just in case. And then I have, whoops, mess there. I love this paper. I will definitely be putting this in my scrap stash. That's the other side of it. That stamp side I didn't know how to use. Um, and then this paper. I just didn't know what to do with it. I think rather than de-stash it, I'm going to put this in my Christmas stash because I can see myself using this for holiday layouts. It's a little bit tealy, but with the green, I think it'll make some lovely layouts. So that's what I have left for paper, which I think is amazing. Now let's look at the embellishments, which honestly there are a lot left, but I knew that going into it. Um, I had the embellishment kit with this one, so I had a lot more embellishments than I normally do. Uh, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I think I did a decent job regardless. So okay. slide it all in here. Okay, so this is all of the, this is the embellishment ephemera kit. Um, and as you can see, it had all of that in it. And this is what I have left. I won't go through every piece. Something like this, I'm just probably not gonna keep. Little flowers and bits I will. I'll put this with my summer stuff. I'll definitely keep the tabs. Um, definitely keep the butterfly in this. A lot of this is really versatile. Um, I'll put this with my food. Maybe, I don't know what I'd use this for. Um, but there's a lot of stuff left in here that I can see myself using. Not this, like homemade since forever that's what it says homemade since forever not sure what I would use that for personally our favorite way to spend summer grilling I we don't grill maybe I could keep it with my summer stuff and we could just use the top of it I might do that 
Um, it's a cute set. I'll probably keep most of this stuff, but I mean, I use a little less than a half, maybe. That's decent. The bows. I'm kind of disappointed. I did not open this package at all, but I'll definitely keep these. I think they're really neat. Um, so I'm, they'll get some use. I promise. The butterflies I will also keep. I did not use any of these. They just didn't fit the style of the the butterflies that I did use. I do like them though, and I can see myself using them on a layout, so these will go in my stash. Um, the florals, I actually used a ton. So you can see here, hopefully, how many florals you get and some butterflies in there. I really liked this floral set. It was really versatile for me. Um, and I only have this left. That's it. And I can totally see myself using those. So those will also go in my stash with my floral stuff. Oh, the buttons, people. You knew I said I would struggle with them, and I did. I actually made a two-page layout intentionally to try and use some of the buttons, and I did. Um, there's a couple of cute ones in here that I might, I can see myself still using. Like, I really like the these basic ones with the stripes or these geometric ones, the heart that I have left. So I might keep some of these and see if I can use them. We'll see. I think with them all together on this sheet, like just this color scheme is very primary. It did have the teals in there, um, which helped it lean a little less primary, but overall it's a very primary palette and primary is not my thing. I think it brings back like 90s elementary school with the teacher with the vest and she had the like pencils embroidered on it and this everything were these colors and I just I don't like this color scheme but if I separate them out I think I can use them so I will try and use them we'll see puffy stickers I did not use a ton of these for some reason puffy stickers don't speak to me as much but these are beautiful florals and I can at least see myself using the rest of the florals and the butterflies in here I like this bloom brightly um I'm not sure what I'll do with the rest I'll probably de-stash it once I use up the florals Okay, so these I did not use. I'm not surprised I didn't use. So you can see there weren't a ton of them in here to begin with. I did use the Remember the Day and this Memories Together thing. I can see myself using this special as a piece of ephemera. But all in all, like, I don't journal a lot. So the journaling pockets don't make as much sense to me. I can see using this for a piece of ephemera too. It's a nice neutral, and I really like this tag. I'll definitely keep this, but, like, I just, I don't know. I don't love the patterns and stuff. I'll probably keep this, maybe glue it down. So I don't know. It just didn't speak to me. It was very pastel and florally overall, so I'll keep bits of it and de-stash the rest. Okay, these clear stickers. I loved them. They were tricky to use because... The phrases, like, I love these, and I will use them. The phrases, though, like, once we got past the ones I already used, like, let's go fly a kite, um, we needed this so much, taking a walk in the sweet, fresh air. Uh, I value your friendship. Thank you for everything. After the week I had, how did you know I needed this? It's a good day for a barbecue. They're very, very specific, and they didn't match what I had going on. I will keep them and try and use them, but they felt too specific. I love the font, though, but I have to say, the editor and me, I, there are two of them I can't use. This one, every day you amaze me with your thoughtfulness, that should be two words, every day. It's only like your everyday thoughtfulness. If it's used as a describing word, kind of, then um, it's one word. But when it's used to talk about every day, it should be two words. I can't. I, I can't <laughs> I can't put it on my layout, so I'll probably throw that one away. And then this one, I think they had a typo. Life just would, there's a word missing, be the same without your cute laugh. I would have used that had it not been missing a word. But all in all, a eh, decent amount, and I will keep these. I knew I was going to struggle with these. I, I, I'll pull out the other one so you can see both at the same time. I really didn't use much at all here. It was very floral, very pastel, and a lot of the stuff was very focused on being like homemade, plant-based, food, like made with love, homemade with love, plant happiness. Um, some of these things I will probably keep and put in those little binders that you saw, but all in all, I probably will de-stash most of this. 
Okay, these I'm pretty happy because I used all of the back. It's all gone. And then I used one more of the words here. And I'll probably keep these because these words do very well with titles. And I really like them. I like the colors. Um, so I'll keep those. Letter stickers. We had two sets. <laughs> you can see I spelled one four letter word with this green set but I love the green and it's a great versatile alpha so I will keep this and I love this yellow as well so I did use a decent amount of this yellow I just find this font a little tough to read when you actually line it up unfortunately I was showing my husband my layouts and he was joking um I'll, I'll hopefully remember to show you when that layout comes out what he was joking about the title and what he thought it said ha ha um but this one will also go in my stash. I love a good yellow. So that's what I have left. Like I said, I didn't use a ton, but I used what I wanted to and it worked well. So without further ado, I did promise you that I would try and find the layouts that I had made with this kit before I did the kit catch up. And I did find, I'm not sure if it's all of them, but I found some of them. So I will walk through those real quick with you so you can see what I had done when I first got the kit. Um, there's this one. This one has, I love it. I love the colors. This is hard to read. I get it. It says blueberry picking. Um, and the July, it's gold. And so unless you hit it at the right angle, it's also hard to read. But I really just, I love the colors. I love the yellow. I love this background green. Um, so I don't care about those things being difficult. I love them. Let's see there's that this is one of my absolute favorites you can see I use two of those giant words and I, I just love this this type of layout where it's all clustered in the center and there's a lot of white space around it I love the wonky layering I love the colors the blues and the yellows and I love this lemon paper that's back behind it with a little bit of the pastel it's just I love 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 this one and then this one I also love, and this is the one I was telling you about where I had cut, fussy cut all around the flowers. This was one where I, when I pulled out the papers, I immediately, immediately saw this one and this one, and I was like, they have to go together. I love them. I love them together. And then I put the pink one in between them and cut it, and it was just perfect. Love it. Love it. And I love the black and white photos. I rarely do a black and white photo, but it really worked well here. So those are the three I had made before. Now, let's see what I made with the kit catch up. Let me see. Okay, I made one, two, three, four, five, which is awesome. And two of them make a double page spread. I never do one, but you'll see why I did one this time. So without further ado, remember the first one is the first one I made. So oops. <laughs> see, there's my little buddy over there making some noise. Um, so I made it with the full bowl, what I had um, available at my disposal. So that's this one. And I really like this one. Again, I love pairing those giant words for a title. It says Adventure on the Go. These pictures of my son. And I just like, we've got this like kind of an L-shaped layout here with this beautiful pattern paper. I really like this. I like the white, the torn edge. I love the word stickers. I like that they're clear and I could layer them on top of the ephemera. I did that in a couple places. I quite enjoyed it. So cute little simple layout. Then there's this one, it's very florally, but I knew we had a lot of butterflies, so I wanted to do something with butterflies. And when I went to my Google Photos, I saw, I forgot that we had gone to the North Carolina Zoo and I'd take, gone to the butterfly house and took a lot of pictures of butterflies. So I made these little film strips with my selfie printer and then just threw this together. I love the doodly border here. I love the black and white stickers mixed with the color. So this is the one my husband was making fun of the title. He was like, beautiful butterflies, because the bee doesn't close all the way, you know, but we'll just ignore him. <laughs> okay, then there's this one that I made. My original idea had been to use this as the background, but then I went with white. And I really like how this turned out. Again, with the wonky layers, lots of layering going on. This actually right here, this paper is the back of a letter sticker sheet. I think it was from Pink Fresh, the Some Days letters, those sky blue, tall, skinny ones, these right here. Um, it's the backing paper from that. I really liked it. And I liked how it like made this whole thing pop. Um, I was going through my ephemera and I found this thing that said New York because I took this in New York. Um, this was at the One World Observatory. I will say, if you go to New York and you want to have the like top of the world New York experience, that 
the One World Observatory was not my favorite one. I've done, I wouldn't say all of them, but a lot of them. Um, and while you do get up high and it's a good experience, because it is at the very end of the island in Manhattan down there, you basically don't get the full 360 views that you do with the other places. So I would recommend that if it's your first time to New York, do not do the One World Observatory. Um, just because you get, I think you get better views, better photos from the other places. But that's that. I quite like how that one turned out. It's not my typical color palette, but I, I thought it went really well with the colors in the picture. Okay. And then this is my last one that I made, my double page. Let's see if I can get it all on screen here. Might scoot you up. Whoop. Okay. So this was my son's first birthday. Here, I can scoot you back down just a little bit. Um, and this is the one that I tried to get the buttons on there, clearly. Um, and because the buttons were primary, I went with that. I brought in some of my stash papers like this one and this one. They're six by eight and this one in the back. I think that they really tie the whole thing together and keep it from looking too primary. I love the title. You know me. I like gigantic long titles and this is no exception. Um, I got these from my stash and... These are from my oh, these are from my stash, um, but all these are from the kit. The buttons are all from the kit. Almost all the papers are from the kit. There's some more of those stickers in here, and here because this was his first birthday. Um, but I quite like this one. I was not sure how I would feel about it as it was going on, but I'm happy with how it turned out. So, in the end, that is what I have. I made five additional layouts in addition to the. Um, the three, I think, that I had done previously. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this Kit Ketchup. Uh, join me for another one soon. Bye.